Hi my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, and if you guys have been keeping up with my last two videos, I did mention in the first one, which was a Fashion Nova try and haul, that I was going to do three parts of this series, I guess you want to say. Um, so the first one was a Fashion Nova haul. The second one was Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, Miss Lola, and Boohoo. Sorry if I look like a little bit <laughs> swollen. I have a candy in my mouth. And then this one is going to be a shoe haul. Um, in no way am I bragging or trying to show off all the shoes that I have. Um, I've got them over time. But it is a, quite a few of shoes that I have. Like I said, in no way, shape, or form am I bragging about the shoes. I'm just here to film my video for you guys and show you guys um, some cute little different style heels that you guys may want to go and purchase. Honestly, so yeah. Nothing but good vibes here, okay? So let's get right on into the video. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with these two pairs because these are special to me. I mean, all of them are special, but these are like really special to me because they are from Miss Lola, known as Lola Chutique before. So I actually won their PR list, um, like giveaway or um, I'm not sure what you would call it, but they were posting on their Instagram that they were picking PR list um, winners. So all you had to do was like post like repost your pictures and say why you wanted to win and girl i was like on it i was posting i was posting i was posting and i finally won and oh my god it's feels like it just happened yesterday and i am so 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 glad that i won because i had never won anything let alone being on a pr list um it is temporary um for the time being they will let me know if i get added to their permanent one but they had such sweethearts um and they still sent me some shoes to go ahead and try on and to post on my instagram so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with those i only have two pairs because the last pair is a pair of sandals and i totally forgot to grab them but the first pair they are a little dirty from the heel because like i said i was taking pictures and they kind of sank into the mud um but the first ones are these right here so these are my second pair of red heels i have never had red heels before um but these are the first ones and I actually love it because of like this clear thing right here that wraps around like the toe area. So they are a little bit dirty, um, but this is like the style of them. So they're really, really cute. I did, all of these are either size five and a half or six. I'll go ahead and let you guys know. Um, but these are five and a half. I just really, really love these. They're really, really like simple, but I feel like they really obviously make a statement because they're so like bold. Um, but yeah, I really, really like these. I'm debating if I should try them on because I feel like you guys are not going to be able to see. I don't think I'm going to try them on just for the fact that, like, I feel like it's going to be kind of hard to film, um, you know, trying them on. But if I have wore them, I'll go ahead and insert, like, a picture um, of how it looks when I paired it. So I think most of these I've wore already. Um, but, yeah, these are the first pair. And I will leave, um, like, where I got them and the style of them. So if you guys want to check them out. You guys can have them down in the description bar. So that was the first pair that they had sent me. The second pair, I am obsessed with these. And I've never had... Actually, these are my second pair of these color shoes. And they are absolutely adorable. So they're these little heels right here. I call them like, not booties, but they kind of remind me of like booties. Because they're like of the heel. It's like the thicker heel, which I love. And it makes it easier for me to walk in, honestly. Um... But these are like a mustard kind of color. And honestly, guys, I am obsessed with them. I have wore these already as well. And I really like them because I feel like they're really, like, detailed. Like, it has, like, the one strap right here. It has another one. And then it has one going up. And then the two straps right here. And then it kind of ties on the, this side. Um, but these really, I feel like just putting them in the camera, I feel like they really make a statement because of the color. Um, but, yeah, this is the second pair. Okay, so like I did mention, there was another pair, but they were sandals. Um, I will still go ahead and leave them, leave it linked down below, and I'll post a picture of how they look. Um, but yeah, moving on. I'm not going to go in no specific order. I'm just going to do whatever I have around me. So the next pair, these are from uh, Lola Chutique. No. Yes, this is from Lo Miss Lola as well. So there are these nudes, little booties. Again, I would consider them booties because they just have the thicker heel. Um, so this is how thick the heel is. This one I got in the size five and a half as well. Um, it's like not like leather, but it's not suede either. I'm not sure if you guys can see through the camera like what kind of material that is. I honestly don't know what kind of material this is. Um, but again, it has like the little strap that ties right about here, and it's open like on the heel area. Um, and then it has your little toes showing. But I really like this color because I feel like you can never go wrong with nude heels because they match with anything, honestly. Um, and I just like them because they were really simple. 
sometimes I like I'd rather get heels like this because like I said rather than these like the this not stilettos is it considered stilettos I'm not sure um but I feel like these are easier to walk in um but yeah this is this pair right here okay so these are the second pair and these are from Miss Lola as well and these are in size five and a half so these are kind of like this one, just this one, I feel like it's a little bit more on the yellow side. Um, and this one is more like of a kind of like rustic kind of brown color. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how you would describe this color. Um, but this is how this one looks. Again, thicker heel, has a strap that wraps around your ankle right about here. And I like them because they're not too, too high. So it's not like I'm going to look crazy when I go out and I wear them. Um... But yeah, this is the next pair. Again, this was in a size five and a half. Okay, and then these next one again from Miss Lola, or these right here. So these are like really, really bright, and these are more like of a yellow color. Um, they're kind of similar to this pair. The only difference, honestly, is the strap around the ankle. As you guys can see, this one is a bit thinner. This one is more thick. Um, so this part right here. These, unfortunately, they did fit me big. Um, I feel like when it comes to having heels that have this, like, tie around the ankle, and not so much here, like, this one has it, how, how it has, like, covering my foot. I feel like when it's more open like this, I feel like I have trouble um, with the fitting of it because I feel like my foot is not, like kind of held down to the heel and I feel like my foot's kind of like wobbling everywhere um so these did fit a little bit big I remember when I did wear them I was like wait actually I think it was these that I wore that my feet I don't know if I've wore these before I think it was these that I wore when um my feet like hurt because of like the strap I think it was these I think I'll insert a picture yeah I think it was those. I'll insert a picture of how I wore it um but yeah, moving on. So these are the next pair. I really like the color. I never have heel. I'm telling you, like all of the heels besides these that I have are shoes. They're like black, brown, and like nude. Um, so I wanted to get different color ones because you can never have too many shoes. Honestly, you can never have like weird colors. So this is this pair right here. And these next ones are flats, but they still considered a shoe. Um, and I absolutely love these guys. Like. And these were from Ross, okay? I am, I like looking good, but on a budget when I have to. But these were from Ross, and when I seen them, I was like, okay, I have to have them. I think the color is what stood out to me the most. And this little, like, these little, like, charms, I guess. I don't know what you would call that, honestly. But these were so, so cute. And they're, again, like, the mustard yellow color. A little bit more, like, on the yellowy side. On the camera, it's picking up more yellow, but I feel like in person... It's not as yellow, but it is, like, the yellow mustard kind of color. Um, and, guys, like, aren't they so cute? And, again, these are on a size five and a half. So, I do have a lot of heels, but I do want to get, like, more flats and more, like, sandals and more shoes because I have more heels than I do shoes. Um, because you can never go wrong with just having, like, flats like this. And, honestly, you can dress them up and you can dress them down. But, yeah, these are this pair right here. Okay, and the next one, these are from Forever 21. I don't think I've ever bought heels from Forever 21, but it's a funny story because I had went to Forever 21 at the mall, and I was with my cousin and her friend, and I seen them when I was leaving, and I was like, oh my god, like, these are amazing because I had been wanting ones like these. Um, so when I seen them, I was like, I have to have them, but they were a little bit on the pricier side. I want to say they were forty nine fifty, I think it was. And honestly, I don't think I would have paid $49 for a pair of heels. Um, I would rather get some cheaper, wait till they go on sale or whatever. Um, and it's funny because I was online and for my birthday, when it when my birthday passed, I got two gift cards to Forever 21. Um, and it was funny because when I was on there shopping, I these like popped up and they were on sale. And they were $24.50, I want to say. So, you know I had to grab them. Um, but this is what they look like. So, these are leather and they are like the boot material but they do have a heel and it does come up to my um ankle a little bit past my ankle actually um and i actually just wore the other color that i have of these with this outfit so i'll insert a picture how i paired it together um but i absolutely love these at first when i had seen like this design right here i was like mm -mm, i don't know if i'm gonna like it but when i tried them on you don't even really pay attention to that um but these are so so cute and I had been wanting these. I'll show you the pair that I do have that are like this. Except this is a little bit different. And the the material of it. So again, this one is like the leather material. And honestly, these are so, so cute.
Okay, so the other color that I do have that I wore with this outfit are these red ones. Guys, like like I said, this is only my second pair of um, red heels. And when I seen them on the website, when I had seen them in the store, I had only seen the black ones. I didn't even know that they had other colors. But they did have red and they did have white. But I wanted to get the red ones because, honestly, can we just, like, take a moment? These are freaking, like, so cute and they're sexy. Um, but, yeah, these are the red ones. I really, really like them. And when I paired it with this outfit, oh, girl. I loved it. But yeah, these are the red ones. Okay, so I did say I have some like those. Um, and these are from Miss Lola. They have a little bit of hair on them. But these are it. So, these are more like of that suede material. So is it called suede? I don't know, I think so. Or like the velvet material, that, there it is, like velvet. Um, so it's a little bit of the softer one, and this one, this is a little bit more loose, whereas that one, it kind of like shapes it, and it kind of fits into your ankle. Um, this one is kind of loose. And honestly, I did like them, but on the website, they did look a little bit different from the heel, and I'm about to show you guys. Um, but when I got them in person, I was kind of like, mm, I've never had a heel that looks like this, but it didn't look bad when I wore them. Um, so as you guys can see, this one is more of a like rectangle kind of heel, not like this kind of heel um so it is rectangle so you can't really see it like notice it but i feel like from when it looks on the side you kind of see a little bit more i don't know it made it look kind of weird like when i seen them in person i was like oh like i didn't know that they look like that on the website um but so it does have like a rectangle kind of heel instead of like just straight stick i guess i don't know um but yeah these are the ones that i said I have like the Forever 21 ones, 20, Forever 21 ones, that sounds weird, but yeah, these are it. So now that we're on the topic of the black ones, I'll just go ahead and move along. These are from JCPenney, and I wanted to get these because I did mention that I get a, I did get a new job, so I wanted um, some new black booties slash heels, I guess, I don't know if you want to um, call them heels. Um, obviously they are heels because they do have a heel, but these are again leather and they do have a thicker heel So I know these are not gonna give me a problem and then my feet's not gonna get tired Actually, I did try wearing these one time um, But they did get a little bit tiring, but I feel like that's how it is with all new shoes when you get them You're gonna have to like um, Break them in but these are again leather they're black and these I did get in a size 6 because they didn't have my size And they do fit me a little bit big, but maybe I'll like double up on my socks um, But I thought they were really cute really like chic but like really really glam as well i feel like so i really like them so yeah like i said even with the shoes you can pair them up and you can pair them down um but i just really really like these again because they were black so you can never go wrong with black heels okay and these next ones i want to say i got them at miss lola as well i think i did get them on miss lola so they're these So the reason why I like fell in love with them is because of the ankle part. As you guys can see, it kind of has like that scrunchy material. And like I said, with these, it did give me a little bit of trouble. But with these, I don't know what. I think it's with the like thicker kind of, um, what the hell is this, strap? With the thicker strap, I feel like it doesn't give me a problem. But with the thinner ones, I feel like it does. Um, so what caught my attention was like the strap because how it has like the little ruffle. I feel like they're just so chic, but I feel like they're really, really nice at the same time. I did pair this with a red dress and I'll go ahead and insert a picture of how I paired them up. But I absolutely love these heels. We're almost done, guys. So the next ones, again, I these are from Miss Lola as well. So they're, they're, they're these just simple black ones. Um, they're kind of like the other ones, except the only difference is the strap. So again, this one does have a thinner strap. I'm not sure if I've wore these before. I'll go ahead and look at through my pictures to see if I wore them before. I think I have, I'm not too sure. Um, but if I have, I'll insert a picture. But this is what this one looks like. So again, they're really similar to the other ones, except the strap is a little bit different. And that material, it was more like of that silky material. And this one is more like of that velvet kind of um, material. So yeah, these are these. Okay, so the next kind of booty looking ones are these, and these are from JCPenney. I absolutely fell in love with these guys. Like, these are so cute and so, so, so comfortable. I haven't wore them like out, but I did like try them on and they're really, really comfortable because they have like the memory foam. Um, but I think I loved it more because of the detail in here, like the gold. Even though it has gold and it's black, you can honestly just pair these with whatever. And I feel like it will still look good. Um, the, this is the 
the heels, so if not too not too high, I mean. Um, so I feel like this is gonna be so so cute when I have when I pair it together. Like I said, I haven't worn them out, so I don't have um, a picture of these, but I shall wear them soon. Again, this is like that velvet material. Okay, so these are like bomb because I have a pair like these, but the heel is on the thicker side. Um, and I have trouble sometimes with thigh high boots because I have really small thighs. So I have trouble sometimes with like keeping them up because they always like slide down. So when I seen these, honestly, when I seen them on the website again, I didn't think it had like the tie part, but it did. Um, but the only difference with these is they go higher than my other ones. So when, like since I am obviously have a, I have more meat like towards the top of my legs, um, like my higher thighs, I don't know what you would call it. Um, so they do stay up. And again, this is like that velvet suede material under these long boots and these are from miss lola so they look like this so again it has like the smaller heel and the pointed kind of toe but yeah as you guys can see like they're super super long i actually try them on so you guys can see how high they go okay so you guys can see this is how high they go i do have biker shorts on but as you guys can see let me get on the chair so yeah, this is how high they go. So the other ones that I have, I want to say they went up to like maybe around right here. So since it's a little bit thinner right here, they did tend to slide down. But whereas these, like, can you, like they just make like my leg look so, so cute. I absolutely love these. So these will be perfect with like the long sweater dresses um, because of how high they go. So yeah, this is this pair right here. Okay, I'm almost done, guys. Only three more pairs. Okay, so the next ones are these. And I, when I seen them online on Miss Lola again, I fell in love with these because I don't have heels like these. But these are like kind of like professional heels, but still really, really cute. So it's these right here. And I absolutely fell in love with the color. These, I want to say, were the high reputation style, I think. I may be wrong, but again, I'll leave everything listed down below. Um, so they did have way more colors. But I feel like this one kind of matched with anything. I think they did have like a lighter cream white color. I don't know why I didn't get those. But I absolutely love this one. This one is like a nude pink kind of color. So they're so, so cute. Like I said, they're a little bit more like on the sophisticated professional side. But again, very, very cute and very, very adorable. Again, these are in a size five and a half. So I did get these in another color, which... Is this color right here so this is like a mocha kind of color i think that's what this one was called was a mocha um but yeah there's really not much to say i just said it in the in the other pair but i really really like them again it's the pointed toes i have trouble like wearing these sometimes because i'm not used to wearing like the pointed toe but i'll get used to it these did hurt a little bit when i did um like was walking in them around my house but again you have to like break them in you got to stretch them out but for the most part i absolutely love these just kidding we have two more left so the next ones are this again from Miss Lola. I don't know if I did talk about these. I did. I did talk about these. Just kidding. So the last ones are these. And when I had seen these, I had been wanting one of these pairs forever. Because I see them on Instagram and how those like Instagram baddies dress them up. So I was like, I want those shoes and I want to be like them. <laughs> um, so when I seen them, I was like, I have to get them. And they were on sale. So you know I had to cop them. Again from Miss Lola. And these are it. Like, guys, these are so freaking cute. The only thing that I was kind of like, eh, about when I seen when I got them in person was how it's kind of clear right here. But I think as, I feel like if you tighten them up right here, this kind of closes. Um, but that's the only thing that I was kind of like, mm, yeah, mm. But I did pair them and I did wear them. But when I did wear them, I do have to wear them with jeans that are kind of like, um, caprice because since they obviously do go high up i wore them with like regular fashion over high-waisted jeans and on the bottom it was like a lot left over so i had to fold them and i did pair it to like right here but you can still kind of see it through right here so i think i would have to wear these with like shorter capri pants um or just like a dress or a sweater dress or whatever but these are so cute again they're like a nude color these were in a size five and a half and I absolutely love these. Like like I said, I had been wanting one of these because I seen them when people pair them with like cargo shorts and stuff. So I think they were super, super cute um, and sexy. But yeah, these are these pair. And this was the last one. So, yeah. So the last ones are these. I don't have any white heels. So when I seen them on Miss Lola, they were having a sale. Um, and I was like, ooh, girl, these are so cute. So they're these. 
Again, they're like the booty kind of peel. Again, open toe right here. Ankle length a little bit higher maybe. Thicker heel. Has a zipper on the side. So you guys can see these are like white, white. But yeah, I really, really like these. Again, I don't, I don't have any white pair of heels. So when I seen these, I was like, these are so cute. Like, I have to get them. But this is what these are. So these are the last pair. So yeah, it was pretty much it. I'm not sure if I explained them to the best of my ability. But it wasn't so much explaining them or, you know, giving so much detail to them. Like I said, I wasn't in any way, shape, or form bragging about the heels that I have. I just wanted to do this video for you guys because I did mention in the first one that I wanted to do like a series, kind of three different parts. And I really, really did enjoy filming these videos for you guys. If you guys did enjoy like this little series as well, leave me your comments down below. I really, really love to hear if you guys enjoyed or not. I had a lot of fun filming this for you guys, but that's pretty much it. So again, this was my shoe haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully you guys pick these up and you guys try them out yourselves and you know, feel sexy because honestly you can never have too many heels you can never have one of the one you can never have too many heels of the same color there you go but yeah if you guys do end up purchasing these heels and you guys do pair them up or you guys put them on instagram please please tag me in your picture um or just send it to me through instagram i have my instagram link down below i always do um and yeah, we'd really love to see. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys aren't already. That is pretty much all I have to say. Again, don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys are notified every single time I upload a new video. If you guys have any, any suggestions of future videos that you guys want me to film, please, please, please either message me or leave them down in the comments down below. I, I want to know because I want to get new content out for you guys. That's why I wanted to kind of take a break from doing makeup tutorials and just focus on like fashion kind of like i want to incorporate a little bit of both so if you guys have any suggestions please please leave them down in the comments down below and that's pretty much all i have to say and i will see you guys on the next one